We are here at Burnt Toast Studios learning how to do printing the old-fashioned way. Screen printing, also known as silk screening, is an analog practice of pressing paint to paper or other materials. One of the artists operating out of the studio, Karolina Gajewska, has been screen printing for four years and says though the process can be tricky, it is also rewarding and easy to learn. So the first thing that we usually do when we're silk screening is that you need to get an image that you want to print. After some Photoshop wizardry, the design by Calgary artist Chris Zako is printed on a special transparency sheet. Now it's time to prepare our screen. It's important to make sure the screen is clear of emulsion and ink before getting to work. Emulsion liquid is poured over the screen, which must then dry. Once the drying process is complete, the transparency is placed on the screen, which is then put into an exposing machine. The black portion of the transparency blocks light from hardening the emulsion, where the desired design is located. The unexposed emulsion is then rinsed away, and the screen must dry once more. Now the paper is aligned on the screen press to ensure each pressing is uniform. The edges of the screen are taped to make sure no excess paint leaks through, and the ink is then applied over top. A few tests are done to ensure the alignment and paint color are correct. The alignment tabs are then taped down, and we're ready to print. The paper is placed under the screen, and a squeegee is used to flood the screen with ink. A swift, strong, single movement works best. The press is pulled up, and voila, we have a finished poster. As we learned firsthand, part of the beauty of this process is that even though uniformity is the goal, the need to do each print by hand can result in some small variations between posters, part of what makes each print a unique work in its own right. Although digital printing is the fastest and cheapest way to reproduce images today, Gajewska says there's still good reason to screen print. It has a different texture, it has a different feel to it. When you look at something that's silk screen versus something that's digitally printed, something digital will be fairly flat. I mean, it's awesome, it's clean, it's crisp, but it's also manufactured, like everything's going to be exactly the same way. There's just a bit more character um, in silk screening, and it's just like another art form. There's so many things that you can get done really easily, fairly cheap somewhere else, but when you, when you take something like silk screening, it's just, it's, I don't know, it's a beautiful piece of art that you can't really, it has a story to it more so than something that you just get digitally printed. For the Calgary Journal, I'm Michaela Ritchie. And I'm Colin Gallant.